Hello everyone and welcome to Elite Dangerous. This is my first video in this game. I've played it a little bit just to get my feet wet, but but I haven't really been playing it formally. I've just been playing it casually and uh, I've got a number of things I should warn you about first of all and uh, the first thing is this is not a tutorial. I'm not going to try to explain how to play this thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I do a very good job of it anyway, but at least I can get by. Um, I have a goal. I have a goal for this series, hopefully it'll be an extended series, and the goal is to get across the galaxy. So if we could take a look at the galaxy map here. Uh, we're here in 21 Eta Cygni, and that's relatively close to Sol System, though not quite there, that's, uh, that's our solar system. You can sort of see the coordinate grid here, and uh, we're very close to uh, Z coordinate 0. We're sort of negative uh, 100. This is the x direction, up and down is y, and then the last coordinate is the one we're interested in because that's the coordinate that shows how deep into the galaxy we're getting. The higher the number, the further in this direction we are. And I want to cross the galaxy. They say that there's a hundred billion stars out there, and I want to get across it. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to take. If you take a look at the systems here, uh, it's not exactly a straight line path. Uh, it's, it's not that at all. Uh, you can probably see that our next destination might be this Mbera. I, I want to stick to the name systems because uh, they're the ones likely to have stations, I think. Um, and then this Suchifuku there. Though that looks like a dead end, it might not be. Uh, my main thing is going to be exploring and trading. And uh, obviously that might seem a little boring, but uh, we have a mission, we have a goal, and it's more of, more going to be like a, a diary, I, I think this uh, series is going to be. This isn't exactly a game where, let, let's get launched. Heck, uh, uh, I just uh, picked a destination, so let's go over here, um, let's go to Mera. Let's see if we can trade anything with it, and I'll talk more about what I'm doing here as we go along. So, okay, so, uh, oh, I need to refuel. Always good to refuel when you can. So, I don't know, maybe there's some mission to Mbera? Uh, I doubt that's to Mbera. No, that's to here. Nope, not coming back here. Okay, so let's just see if there's any commodities that we can send over to Mbera so that we can make the trip worthwhile. Just look at the supply column and if there's... Okay, that looks like it can go to Mbera. Polymers, uh, semiconductors, Superconductors. I like superconductors. Let's get some superconductors. Mm, let's just get four. I don't want to take too much of a financial risk here. Okay. So with that, let's get into space and then we'll talk more about what I'm doing. So away from Finky Landing. off we go. Now I picked this location to start off because we happen to have a pretty neat little planet here. I don't know how many of these are around but where are you planet? There you are. Sort of a lava planet so I thought it'd be nice to start off with that. But yep let's uh, get on the road to Mbera. Yeah, the thing about this game is, it's really fun to play, but I don't get the feeling that it's something that might be engaging to watch without some sort of uh, very definite mission. And I think uh, the Firelands or Bus model is a good one in terms of trying to make sure that it has a purpose to it, 
and so I, I went with uh, that idea and we're going to go across the galaxy. I'm sure somebody else has thought of doing this, so I hope I'm not stepping on anybody's toes on that, but I didn't see a video like this before I started out. In terms of graphics quality, I did my best to optimize it in terms of uh, frame rates versus quality. I do not have the greatest computer on the planet in terms of playing games. It's not really meant for that. So uh, forgive me if you don't think that the graphic quality is up to snuff. Okay, now we are doing exploration as a main thing. So I just want to make sure. It looks like this system has already been fully explored. Let's see. Yeah, this is a pretty well explored system. This Coulter Enterprise, uh, this orbital one might be a good place to stop by. I want to offload the superconductors that we picked up, right? Okay, so uh, it is a beautiful game, and I hope that we get some really stunning visuals as we start really exploring the place. I want to see in particular if there is a black hole at the center of the galaxy. That would be a very interesting thing. Oh, uh, I am playing in open play, so... If there are any of you out there, I'm, I'm here with you. This is not a solo game. I mean, not that. I mean, you can switch back and forth. I'm just saying I'm not going to be playing solo. I'll be playing in open play. And again, I'm, I'm going to be sticking to most... Well, I'm going to be sticking to harmless, not mostly harmless. Harmless. I'm, I'm not a fighter <laughs> in general. And so, uh, if, if battles come, that's one thing, but I don't envision it. That's why I'm flying a hauler instead of anything else. So, as far as excitement is concerned, uh, the excitement is mainly in taking a look at these magnificent planets and various other celestial bodies. And what little, what little stations we might come across. And seeing if I can really get across the galaxy. Okay, which side is the docking? I think it's gonna be on this side, let's see. Docking request granted. Yay! It's always a shock when docking request is denied. That's not very helpful. Yep, there is the docking port. So if you haven't seen this game before, this will be this is one of the types of stations. I believe it's uh, like uh, Cor yeah Coriolis Starport. It's called this type of station. Okay, forgive me for not talking too much at this point. We are proceeding to a landing pad for... There it is. Access to the docking bay is strictly forbidden. 
There are times when I don't actually see my docking pad, that's a little bit annoying. But otherwise, it's been very smooth in terms of uh, doing the docking thing. I, I don't feel any particular need for a docking computer or anything like that. It's uh, fun to bring it in. Okay, so our first landing. Try not to mess it up. Okay, Successful. there we go. Alright, so I'm just going to offload some of the goods that we brought. Litke Orbital. Okay, refuel. Superconductors. Oop. Okay, we got a profit for it. Good. All right, let's see where we're going. Next stop was Ch Suchifuku, I think. Let's take a look at the galaxy map to verify this. So right now, our coordinate is... Okay, so uh, we're around 45-ish uh, in terms of light years towards the galactic center. The galactic center is like uh, at 50,000, so we got a long way to go. But Chifuku is around 52, looks like. But the question is whether we've got a place to go after it. This would be a good place to get to. Can we plot to it? Yeah, okay, so we go to go that way through through Chifuku to Nurunderi, I guess is the way to pronounce that. I'm going to have a lot of fun pronouncing some of these names. Okay, let's go. So let's bring some supplies to Chifuku. Narcotics. No, I mean, unless that's the only thing I can bring. Basic medicine sounds like a little bit more constructive of a thing. Uh, water purifier is even better. And uh, the margins are better on that one. Yeah, I think uh, water purifiers would be good. Not the most lucrative thing. Now I have to make sure I've got enough, uh, enough jump distance. This is the basic hauler so it's not got any uh, modifications yet I haven't bought any so I have to make sure that we can actually let's see hopefully we can get there with all that cargo uh, barely yep okay but that's good any uh, contracts that don't require any space No, only to Arihesa, which we are not going to. Alright, let's head out. Looks like Chifuku is an uh, unexplored system. It's got unknown there. So I'll get some eventual cash for exploring it. Not sure what the station announcements are trying to say. I can't really hear it properly. A lot of echoing. Uh -huh. 
So this universe, well, this galaxy really, uh, seems to be a lot like the Isaac Asimov's Foundation galaxy, where humanity is spread all over the place. And uh, you don't get a sense that uh, there's really a tight organization, even though, you know, in, in Asimov's uh, Foundation books there's a galactic empire, but they're not really in control of everything, and that's sort of the point. Uh, it's all sort of falling apart. And it's sort of, sort of the same idea in this, whoa, sudden sunlight. Okay, uh, sort of the same idea here, I think. I think we've got a galaxy that uh, has humanity all over the place. But they're not really communicating together very well, and they're going in all sorts of directions. We've got a federation, but uh, the federation doesn't seem to be keeping everything together. So that's my impression of the universe so far. I don't know the whole backstory. I haven't read what the backstory is or what's really going on. I'm sort of that person who gets an impression but hasn't been reading the news. Uh, all right, we're not mass locked anymore, so we can jump. Frameshift drive charging. Okay, it's Chief Aku. All right, looks like we can do some discovering around here. So, uh, discovery is a pretty easy process, as far as I know. Though there might be, there's probably some complicated stuff further on. I'm, uh, I've only got basic discovery scanner the sort of stock thing that you pick up and so we just point at it and discover it's a little bit bright but what can you do okay union of Shichifuku future there's a lot of those kinds of things in the galaxy lots of local unions don't seem federated or anything like that. But okay, uh, well, if we haven't discovered stuff in this, let's just uh, get the scanner, just give a pulse out, and see if there's anything out there. Oh, how many? One. Let's see, what hasn't been discovered yet? Okay, well, uh, well, we're going, probably gonna land there anyway, so let's lock destination there, and we'll explore whatever that celestial body is once we get there. I am not going to comment on the physics of this game. I'm really, really not going to do that. So we're just going to have fun with it as it is. Really, this is sort of the game that I would create, except, uh, you know, probably more like the X series where you get to build factories and all that. But I like the scale of this and the continuity. In other words, uh, you're not going through gates or anything like that. And uh, you feel like the universe is a continuous thing. That that in particular I'm I'm fond of. It's a very relaxing game to play. It's not quite like Kerbal Space Program where I have to do a lot of thinking. I, I don't have to do too much thinking here. It's just sort of a uh, unwinding game more like any more than anything else. Like uh, right after I've uh, crashed and burned in Kerbal Space Program, this will be a good thing to play. That sort of thing. Okay, well, there's that unexplored body. Let's let's hold off for a sec. Target that. Okay, Suchifuku one. Very good. 
There's a mine here. There must be some sort of uh, body there then. But I'll take this landing first and then we'll go explore that. This looks like a habitable sort of world, is it? Well, it looks sorta of green. I mean, obviously it's got an atmosphere, got clouds and everything, and water. Huh. Well, presumably water. It could be clouds or something else, but it sure looks suggestively habitable. There's been a lot of promises about what there is to come in this game, and I hope uh, at least half of those come to pass. Because sounds like they're gonna... Sounds like they're gonna expand this by quite a lot. And I'm hopeful for that. So, Dunyak Landing. Yep, I see our docking location. Okay, gear down. Slow down. Slow down more. Let's take a quick look. Where is the blast thing? Okay, probably in this door. Is that the blast thing? Yeah, I think that's the blast thing. Okay, so we need to slow down, orient this way. All right. Okay, and Docking successful. there we go. Alright, so, Dunnick Landing, I've got some supplies for you. Up, oh, refuel first. So, we brought some water purifiers. A modest profit. Okay. Now, uh, I want to see if I can sell some of the exploration stuff I've done to Universal Cartographics. Uh, only this cheapy system. Alright. Really need to get a better scanner. Hopefully that'll give me more lucrative data to sell. But I'm not there yet. Only got 47,000 credits. And I'm not too sure there's the ship to do it. No shipyard here. We'll take a look at the ships in uh, another episode, I think. Okay, so where are we going to next? Oh yeah, I wanted to check out this mine. Let's take a look at that. And, well, after that we're headed to this sector. But uh, where are we going after that sector? I forgot the name of the system. Maybe we can carry some supplies. Oh, uh, New Rundery, right. Surprised, uh, didn't it say that we could, we can jump right to it here. Why are we going through here? Yeah, oh well, let's go to the mine first. But, uh, yeah, we can jump right to it, so I don't know why we're going through this sector. No wonder is they never colonized that thing. Okay, so, New Rundery, can we carry some supplies to it? Oh, uh, let me check the contracts first. Wow, lots of available missions. Food sought. Uh, use your protest vote. What's that? Oh, uh, killing traitors. No, not really. What's this about? Oh, okay. They want stuff. That's the thing, I can't take the jobs. Well, I'll, I'll probably do some round trip trading at some other time, but not here. 
So what does this place have that Nurindari might want? Bertrandite does not seem very lucrative. That's then that's imported from. So uh, Nurindari must uh, produce the minerals. Nope, Nurindari does not uh, does not want anything from this place. Oh well. Okay then. Let's launch. Okay. Engines engaged. Landing gear up and thrust. So let's see what this mine is all about. So, if you have some tips about this game, uh, in terms of exploring, right, that's our goal here, trading and exploring, uh, feel free to drop them in. I'm by no means any sort of expert, and I haven't read many tutorials on it. Uh, obviously, you can see I can handle the basics, like docking and all that, and uh, I will be making my slow way through. Okay, we're not mass-locked anymore. But I'm not averse to any... Any basic tips at this point? Also, uh, tell me how the sound balance is. Whether you want uh, the sound effects lower or higher, music, that sort of thing. I've got a lot of stuff going on here. Also, uh, your opinion on whether I should cover all the parts of my journey? Well, you know what? Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do more of a travel log thing. So I'll, I'll sort of. If I need to do uh, post-commentary voiceover, I can do that. It's going to be a long trip after all. So I'll probably do some recording without doing uh, constant commentary because, uh, yeah, I don't expect anything. Well, maybe something weird w might happen, but we'll see. So far, nothing uh, completely weird has happened, so probably post-commentary as sort of a travel log, And I might throw in, like Kurt J. Mac does, uh, some commentary on Space News, maybe, for instance. Uh, we'll see. Uh, well, just today, uh, a space, the SpaceX launch that was supposed to uh, attempt a landing on a platform in the middle of the ocean, they decided to scrub that because uh, uh, the gimbling on the second stage engine first had some sort of anomaly. So. so, they scrubbed that launch. Hopefully, by Friday, they'll be able to launch the. ISS needs, the International Space Station needs supplies. The orbital science, oh, it wants me to slow down. Okay, I'm slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Oh, passing it right by. This is what I get for just chatting away. Yeah, the orbital sciences launch on the Antares, of course, uh, exploded. So uh, the space space station could really use those supplies, I'm sure, by now. So I'm not gonna land at this mine. I actually want to investigate the body it's around. So what are you? Got a lot of ships around here. Oh, it's Chief Gutu. Can't really see it though. Let's uh, take a path around it to see what it looks like. Oh, impact. Bad. 
Oh, it's 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 bigger than I thought it was. Forget you, slow down. I'm about to impact on the thing. I promise if I end up crashing into something, I'll definitely make a video about that. Uh, okay, we're still pretty close. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, sort of a... Reminds me of Venus, but uh, it could be any number of possible configurations. It's actually probably fairly cool. Because uh, uh, we saw, you know, a cloudy planet already. This is probably a colder planet, not like Venus. Just a coloration sort of remind me of our own second planet. Okay, on to the next place. So, I'm going to head for Nurinderi, and I'll call it an episode there. Friendship drive charging. Okay, looks like we can investigate this particular star, so I'm gonna come around. I always spin around just so that I can avoid slamming into the darn thing. Okay, do your scanning. Scan. Oh, have to target it. Scan. And voila, a T Tauri star. Now that's an interesting one. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't remember what a T Tauri star is. Um, so that's, does that mean it has some sort of neighbor? No, it's just a. Uh, yep, I'm gonna have to look up what a T Tauri star is. Get what those are. All right, Nurinderi stakeholders. Seems like there's just an asteroid belt around here. Let me just give a pulse out. Nine! Nine objects and a platform. And a platform that seems to be around another star? That's pretty far away. I mean... Okay, so giving it some thought, I think I'll wrap it up here because we've got a lot of exploring to do in this system and I, I'll take care of that in the next episode. We'll take a look at where all these things are. Probably all just asteroid belts of some kind, judging from the system map. But also we've got this location out here which seems to be probably around another star. So we've got something else to explore there. So lots of mysteries in this Nurendari system. And I'll take care of that in the next episode. One other thing I need to uh, mention is uh, the name I've picked. I, I used Fletcher Wilson, and that's because that is the name of a character in one of my stories. Uh, you can see our status here. Harmless, mostly penniless, and mostly aimless. And I hope to improve upon that through the course of this series in the painless and aimless department. But I think I'll probably remain harmless. Uh, that's, that's my pattern. And I'll go through current assets, nearly a hundred thousand credits, not much. Haven't done too much yet. Been around though, I've been to 64 systems, plenty of exploration. So, so yep, that is uh, where I'm at at this point. Just as a little update. So, yep, with that I think I'll wrap it up. So, thank you for watching this first episode in Elite Dangerous. And if you have any ideas or any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And so with that, I'll see you next time.